entry which you did uh, on which day. Some of us are very good diary keepers. I am not. Uh, I love my notes. I love my journal because it doesn't restrict me to the day. It will help me uh, write two or three pages. So I'm not limited to that page only for that day. I use the diary only to lock down my meetings. But other than that, I use the journals to write everything. I have journal for everything. And uh, yours may be different. So check all the books that you used to keep and check your diaries and uh, how it's been updated every day. Because it's sort of like giving an account on how you seriously look at your daily living, your family, and uh, the person you are. So, just a reminder, we are three months left for 2022. So, you look at your spouse and ask yourself, what have I done this year that's totally different from last year? Or just for this month, have I done something to better our relationship? And also your children, for us, is our grandchildren. And uh, ask yourself those kind of questions. Because those questions will help you to better your current version. So you don't need to continue to do the things you do, become so monotonous. And sometimes the things you continue to do actually provoke our children to be rebellious uh, to the family. And some, we can be so good, giving good directions, good advices, but yet, the children still uh, rebel, uh, you know, towards our family or, <clears throat> or to their parents. But some children are just good children. They are just so obedient. And um, I was actually relating uh, uh, with a friend. Um, with me. She came to my office uh, last two days. And I was telling her, because her son uh, turned 18. And I was telling her, you know, you are really, really blessed with your children. And this particular one, I see his heart. When he used to come to my office, he's so humble. And not only that, with all that he's capable of doing, with all that he is, he's very humble and very obedient to his parents. And, uh, and he loves his God. So when, I, when we actually uh, gave him a gift, I gave him a small Bible. And that Bible uh, was brought across from Sydney by my daughter. It was with me for quite some time. And she came to my office, her mother came to my office, and she said, you know, out of all the gifts he, he received, he really loved that small Bible. And uh, I mean, you're talking about an 18-year-old in you know, one of the prestige school, um, exposed to a lot of things that the world can offer, but yet stand back and say, I love this more, or I love the things of God more. I obey my parents. And uh, George, thank you. You are such a, a blessing and asset to your family. And uh, not only just a blessing to your mom and dad, but you are such a, you know, a very good mentor to your siblings and how you look after those who are younger than you and people who are at home. So really blessed uh, with your life. I don't really talk much with you, but I see you from the outside. And uh, just speaking with mom, uh, they are really, really blessed to have a son like you. So you have families like that. I have my own families. I'm blessed with my grandchildren. And I love the moments that I spend with them. I love the moments that, you know, that they tell me the things that I don't want to hear. And uh, one good example was yesterday. Two of my smaller ones came into my office uh, because they always go. I mean, one of them always doesn't have any rugby commitment, doesn't have any training after school. So he becomes someone to be dropped off earlier. So yesterday I told whoever dropped him, always, the, you know, tasked to go and pick him up and drop. Just bring him to the office and then we will go together because I was not well yesterday. I was knocking off early. And when he walked into my office, he walked in with a bigger brother and said, oh, okay, I was only thinking that only one. He said, no, we don't have any training today. I'm not playing uh, on Saturday. We are just going there to support the team, and I'm not playing. Okay, that's good. So we were having a conversation. And after that, I gave them money uh, to go and buy their dinner or McDonald's and go back home. On the way out, my daughter walked in, and uh, she said, um, Mom, uh, can, she play, uh, can he play uh, his games? Because I take the phones out. There's a rule in the house. No phones over the week. No PlayStation, no Xbox, no whatever over the week. It's just basically schoolwork, duties, and serving God on our devotion. And in the weekend, then I give them their phone. On Sunday night, phone's back. You'll have your own uh, procedures and rules for your, for your children. That's what I do to my grandchildren. And uh, she, she walked in and she said, oh, mom, he would like to play with his uh, PlayStation. And I said, okay, I'll call him back. Then I'll just come back, came back. Do you want to? Okay, next time, you don't ask auntie. You ask grandmother. Or when, if you want something to, to do, who put up the rules? And who will you ask? Grandmother, grandfather, or great-grandfather, or great-grandmother? So he looked at me, and he smiled and said, grandmother. Okay, grandmother, which means whatever that you do, you come and ask me. Mm -hmm. So you, would you like to play? Yes, I'll give it to you only for today and tomorrow because you're not playing rugby. Go and support your team, then back to studies. What I'm sharing is reality, you know, things that are happening, and... You feel good as a parent or as a guardian or, or as a, a custodian that they feel free to come and talk to you things about their life that they know fully well, fearing the fact you will just look at them and say no and 